Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. You already know the drill. Before we get into today's video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, make sure you hit that post notification bell. That alerts you when I post any and all my latest content. Now, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? So y'all, um, today I will be doing my makeup. And while I'm doing my makeup, I am going to be um, tell me doing multiple things at one time. I'm going to be recording the makeup video for y'all to post so y'all can see how I look. I'm also in the process of trying to figure out what to do with all of my purses and my shoes. I recently got a bunch of sneakers, heels, and things. I got to get my closet organized. So, everything is content. Everything is content. Therefore, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a voiceover video for the makeup look after I do the makeup look hopefully while I'm doing it I will have some sort of um epiphany as to how I'm going to organize my handbags my shoes as well as new shoes that are on the floor a part of me really wants to show y'all um my new stuff as well so then I'll, i'm also going to do a um look what i got video about my fashion and things that i've recently got because i know i know i just spent at least a thousand dollars at she and just buying clothes leggings shoes heels um because we're preparing for our family trip so today is it's a lot that's going to be done i'm gonna insert this clip in all of the videos that i do so that y'all know what to expect. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let me go ahead and get into my makeup. Okay, so y'all already know what's about to go down. We about to prep that skin. Got our Garnier face wash. I'm about to do this little TikTok trick I learned. Yes, I broke my nails off. Don't ask. <laughs> I was so impressed. So we gonna clean the skin all around our mouth, under our eyes. I used two pads this time. Our eyebrows, underneath our chin, our neck. When you have eczema, you have to prep your skin. Now I'm letting it dry, and we're going to go in with our Maybelline Baby Skin. Showing you that I'm choosing just about a dime size, rubbing it all over my face, prepping this skin. <clears throat> my son walked in the room, I believe, at that time. So that's why y'all saw me pan the camera. Now your girl's going in with her spoolie um, makeup tool, and I'm about to go ahead and go in on these eyebrows. Yes, they still are arched. They still aren't arched. I'm sorry. Um, this is, I think, month going into month seven at this point. Just because I want, I really want them to get super thick. And sometimes over arching your eyebrows or waxing them too much can cause thinness in real life. So it takes hair twice as long to grow back. So I just wanted to let them grow in. So you know, they can be full when I do go get them arched. So as y'all can see. I was prepping my eyebrows. I'm going in with my NYX palette now. Again, the same. Um, it's like a lighter cream color and then a flesh tone. I would call it my flesh tone and like a golden brown. The reason you guys can't see me very good on that part is because I was using my little, um, you know, my little round close-up mirror to really get into my eyebrows and get into it. Yep. So, you see me. You see me doing that arch yes girl now i'm giving y'all a little bit of definition i always bring my arches to a point because precision is everything there go my mini me we were singing spongebob square pants <laughs> it's the cutest thing <laughs> now that's over back to the eyebrows so what we do to one side we have to do to the other it's a must um and if y'all have any recommendations on hyperpigmentation, please let me know. Because my cheeks are just giving me the blues. Um, it's like one bump goes away, here comes another. One bump goes away, here comes another. Now I'm going in with my Juvia's Place. My nose underneath the eye. Underneath the other eye. My cupid's bow, my chin. Forehead. Now I'm going in with my Juvia's Place um, cream stick. And I actually think on this one I had probably used the wrong color, but... We gonna make it do what it do. That's why I use so much of the uh, darker one to kind of help even out my skin tone. Um, going in with my Juvia's Place foundation brush. I forgot to show y'all the brushes that I had used previously. So it was an angle brush, foundation brush, and a spoolie so far. 
those are all the tools I used. Now I'm just blend, 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 blend. This is my favorite part, like mixing it all together. It's like mixing paint. I'm a Pisces, so anytime I get to create with mediums, any sorts, whether it's makeup, paint, clay, you name it, I love it. Uh, now I'm going back into my eyebrows, touching them up, just making sure I gave the girls, um, you know, something to talk about or what have you. Not going to lie, my eyebrows do need to be arched because I'm seeing it. I need to clean them up a little bit. So now I'm going in with my Juvia's Place, the Pink's palette, as well as my Juvia's Place um, mini palette. And y'all just saw my stepdaughter walk in. She was like, oh, no. I couldn't even say nothing because wasn't sure if this was going to be a voiceover or not. So I didn't say anything to her. And she just sat there the whole time and then walked out. But she eventually comes back, y'all. Fear not. And then she was asking me about a purse. Oh, she was asking me about um, one of the new bags I got, y'all. So now I'm going in with the Pink's palette using a sparkly pink in my inner corner. I haven't learned how to cut crease, slide crease, none of that yet. I just literally give you uh, three colors on my eyelid, on my eyelid, and that's as good as it's going to get with me. It still achieves the look. The girl still turns heads. No drama. One of these days, I'll get into that artsy-fartsy part of doing, you know, all the designs. Now, I'm going in with the Pink's palette. And I used, um, it was a lighter shade of pink shimmer. It had a little glitter in it, but it's creating like an ombre look almost on my lid. Um, and then from the mini palette, I used like a golden color to kind of even it out. And I like how it turned out. It really gave like a sunset vibe in a sense. Um. Not gonna lie, you guys probably just heard me have a hiccup or something. My bad. <laughs> now I'm going in with my uh, blending brush. I think that's what that's called. I don't listen. You're not an MUA. I'm an MUE makeup enthusiast. Okay, so I'm just giving y'all the best that I got. <laughs> I'm giving you the best that I got, ladies and gentlemen. So now on this part. Girl, I was looking for something. Oh, I was looking for my Watch Me Blush palette because something about my face was just looking real casket, real stale, real. And it was because I was missing my cup of, pop of color. So I went in with the Watch Me Blush palette by the Crayon Case and I used like a golden brown, a coffee brown, as well as like a strawberry shimmer. And that was just so that when the light hit, it could, you know, pick up on camera. Um... Now, granted, if I was going out in public, I probably wouldn't use so much because uh, looking at the camera, I kind of see that it picked up a lot of that pink color. So I probably wouldn't use as much of the um, strawberry color the next time, but it did what it was supposed to do for this look. And by the end of this video, y'all will be able to see just how fabulous I look, child. So now on here, we're going in with my eyelashes from my third eyelash co collection this is number 30 we're giving the girls a little wispy lash today so we're gonna put on our mascara first and it's so cool watching yourself like in fast forward put your makeup on because if only it were that quick now i'm going in with my crayon case eyebrow pencil that i also use for my lips in the color black i don't know why i wanted to do my lips first today but sometimes duty just calls so i'm going in with i think i got this from walmart it's like a little chocolate um glitter gloss and now i'm going in with a nice little up of color yes bringing y'all see it and so at this point i'm applying the um eyelash glue to my eyelashes i didn't show y'all this part because i showed it in the last video listen i'm just returning to youtube give me a minute okay we'll we'll eventually get the kinks worked out <laughs> but for the most part y'all knew what was going on so i'm applying the lash glue apply the lash glue apply the lash glue apply the lash glue and now i am about to surprise myself because i don't even remember what i did <laughs> oh i'm putting the lashes on yeah i'm putting the lashes on so as you can see i'm doing one eye first that is always the better eye for me my left eye always turns out better than my right eye is it just me and my face is pretty symmetrical it's pretty 
pretty even on both sides. I ain't got no lazy eye, nothing like that going on. Ain't no, you know, droop lip. I ain't got no no twitch or nothing. But for some reason, it always turns out better on that side. And so y'all see it, the wispies. Mm-hmm. Get into it. Come on, B. You look good, girl. It's amazing the trans, like the transformation that you can do with makeup. Just how I went from looking like somebody's homeless stepmama to looking like I'm boxy. So now y'all see me pressing it on. Ooh, child. I finally got all them nails popped off, but baby, took me a minute. It's always the inner corners for me. It's always the inner corners for me. It is always the inner corners for me. Now you see me applying my mascara just to make sure my natural lash blends in with the falsy. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep. Now I'm going in with my e.l.f. face spray. Y'all see and it. And this is the finished look. I just did like a little messy ponytail with a bang situation. And as you all can see, this is my face.